Hey guys, uh, Richard back again with an updated version of the Alp Mile deck profile. This is using the new support from the Next Stage Booster that just came out recently. So this is the build that basically I decided I wanted to put together. It's pretty like normal, I would say. There's nothing really too crazy going on with the Grade 2 techs. I know there are other deck profiles that run a lot of different Grade 2s just because you know you got the ability to toolbox your deck out I decided to make it just a little bit more simple so I hope you guys like it so let's just get started with our starter for the deck is going to be the one from the trial deck which is Shining Knight Milius Milius is skill you know when you ride on it you draw a card and if your opponent's a grade one you get a quick shield so you know you got your every deck's standard deck's got their starter going on on in the main grade threes Four copies of Aerial Divine Knight Altmile, who's a grade 3 now. So uh, the first skill is Continuous. Uh, if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone, all your grade 2s get plus 5 shield, plus 10k power. And if you have a, a card in the soul with Altmile in its name, those units get plus a crit. So this is passive, so if you have, so have face-up damage, um, they're just not going to proc, so this works during your opponent's turn. And then the other skill, Act, once per turn, Canvas 1, Soul Blast 1, Call up to one grade two each from your drop and then from your deck and then you shuffle your deck. So it lets you recycle cards, pull out the grade twos you're looking for, and it's basic toolbox in your deck in your drop zone, which is pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't matter which alt miles in your soul, so you can just write these on top of each other and your grade twos now have crits, so that can help apply pressure too. So basically you want to be on this thing for the entire game. Uh, next up for grade 3s, uh, I'm only going to be running two copies of Blue Sky Knight Altmile. This is just to have an Altmile in the soul. And its other skill, Search Out Grade 2s, is also pretty decent, so might as well run it. Um, so Altmile skill is Van or Rear if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone. Uh, this gets 15k, so it's a good beat stick. The other skill is Vanguard Circle once per turn, Canvas 1, discard a card from your hand, and search two grade 2s and reveal them to your opponent, put them in your hand. So. So if you have to ride this alt mile, at least you're able to search out some grade twos, push a little bit. You won't be able to get the same level of aggressiveness, but pulling two grade twos out of your deck still helps you thin out for triggers, so that can still be really helpful. Uh, the plus 15 also helps when it's on the rear guard circle. If you decide to play the force two game and you put this on top of force two marker, it's 28 by itself with two crits, so that's pretty decent. So that's it for grade threes though, because you don't really want to be running or writing anything else other than Aerial Divine Knight Altmile. Plus you have ways to search out Altmile in Grade 3s in, in this deck, so you don't have to worry too much about it. So next up for Grade 2s, there's a lot of Grade 2s in this deck. So I decided I wanted to run four copies of Suleiman. Uh, I was running three at first and it worked out just fine, so you can run three. I decided to keep the fourth just for consistency's sake. So its skill is Van only when it's placed on the Vanguard Circle. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, Search for one card with Altmon its name, and you call it to the rear guard circle. So you don't add it to hand, just you can ride this your grade 2 turn, you look at top 7, you find Altmon, you call it to your rear guard circle, so you get your little swing there. Its other skill is Vanner Rear. When it attacks, you Soul Blast 1, return a rear guard in another column back to your hand, and this gets 5k. So since that works on Vanner Rear, the Altmon that you called, you can swing with it, and then when this swings, you Soul Blast 1, bounce this back to your hand, and get, this gets 5k. So now you have your grade 3 right target, you know, for that next turn. So this helps you basically with the deck consistency. And that's why I wanted run 4. So kind of make it like more of a guaranteed ride. Even if you don't ride, there's still really good alternatives to Silliman. Uh, and the bouncing really helps too if you want to bounce Pongles or certain um, grade 2 targets that you want to replace. So the bouncing skill does come in handy. Uh, next up for grade twos, I'm still running four copies of Livero because this card's great. Uh, skill when placed on Vanner Rear, you can blast one, search your deck for a grade two, call it an open rear guard circle. Uh, and then if you have no face of cards in your damage zone, you soul blast one instead. So this can help uh, to help fill your board, look for specific grade twos. Maybe you want to call out Akane or Silliman. Um, since we have uh, Star, um, Starlight Violinist, which makes things boost, this can just be a 10k booster that calls on another grade 2. So, 
consistency, and also it can cost a soul last uh, if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone. So after you use up your Cannablast, you can meet the condition for Aerial Divine Night Alt Miles skill. You can still use Liveroo to help fill your board, so definite four of. Next up, I am going to be running three copies of Akane. So High, Brog High Dog Breeder Akane skill is when it's placed on Van or Rear, Cannablast 1, search for Pongol, call it, shuffle. Easy. Uh, when it's boosted by High Beast, this gets 3k. So Pongol's a High Beast, so when it boosts it, it's a 21k column. So, uh, Pongol helps fill your soul, and there's a lot of cards in this deck that soul blast, so you want to be running Pongol as well. So, might as well have a card that searches out. And it's a grade two, so you can uh, search it with um, Liver Rose cost. Next, I'm running three copies of Starlight Violinist. So, Starlight Violinist is one of the biggest MVPs of this deck because uh, it gives everything, all your grade twos, boost, basically. Uh, continuous, if you have no phase up cards in your damage zone, all your grade twos on rear get boost, and they can intercept from the back row. So this is really important because Aerial Divine Night Alt Mile gives all your grade twos an extra 5k shield. So if all your if you have no face up damage and you have your back row of grade twos, you can use them to intercept first before you take damage. And then those grade twos that are intercepting have that additional shield, so you can guard attacks pretty easily. Uh, with Starlight Violinist allowing you to intercept from the back row. So this is a really, really, really cool card. I'm only running three because you have ways to search it out. You can call it from the drop zone uh, with Aerial Divine at Altmile, so it's fine. If you're playing against matchups like Vanquisher where these get bound, running multiple copies help, so three should be fine. All right, next up are the one-ofs. I'll just go through them one at a time. So we got one copy of Hope Song Angel. So Hope Song's skill is pretty simple. Cannablast 1, once per turn, search for a Starlight Violinist, and call to rare. So the reason I'm running this is because early game, if you open into this in your hand, you can just, you know, have the, have, you know, ride your grade 2 ride, call this to rear, uh, use a Cannablast call, Violinist, and then you, you know, if you use up your one Cannablast, you already got your booster. And then, you know, you can intercept with this, and then you don't really need this anymore after you got the one Starlight out of the deck. It helps, and pulling a card out of your deck is always really good. So, keep this out for the one of. Next up for the one of, I'm winning one copy of Sage of Indian Virtue, Tion. So, Tion's really cool, because uh, it's just a 19k booster. So, it's if you have five or less units, it cannot attack and cannot be attacked, but it can still boost, <laughs> so that's important. Um... And during your turn, this gets 10k. So if you have Starlight Violinist out on the board, your grade two is at boost, this can boost. So if, even if you have less than five units, you can still boost with it. It just can't attack. Um, you're pretty much always gonna have your board full for the most part anyway, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But having a 19k booster is fun. Uh, the reason I'm only running one copy of it is because when it when you intercept with it or if it dies, you can just call it back with Arrow Divine Night Alt Mile. You know, you, Searching out a grade two from your deck and one from your drop anyway, so just bring this back repeatedly. And lastly, for one ofs from a grade twos, one copy of Blaster Blade. Um, if you can toolbox, you might as well take advantage of it. So uh, when this is placed, um, you kind of blast one, soul blast one, retire when your opponent's front row rear guards. So this can help if you want to get rid of your opponent's interceptor. If your opponent has a certain front row unit, you just want to get rid of. You know, Blast Blade can help with that. You have plenty of Counter Blast and Soul to work with, and the point of the deck is to Counter Blast as much as you can, so if you just need to pay that cost just to make sure your damage face down, you can use Blaster Blade. Get rid of a front row interceptor. It helps. Um, obviously, you don't need Blaster Blade, so, you know, it's still there. It's nice. Might as well keep the uh, Royal Paladin Avatar in the deck, right? So that was it for Grade 2s. So now we're on to grade ones. Uh, running four copies of Laurel Knight Sicilis. So this card used to be the Stride Fodder, but is now basically a Stride the Fodder Searcher. Uh, during your turn, if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone, this gets 5k. Uh, this skill is when it's placed on Vanner Rear, you look at the five card, top five cards of your deck, look for a grade three, add it to your hand, and if you did add one, you discard a card. So. This helps because uh, late game, if you know you got extra alt miles in your deck, you can just call it, search for an alt mile, and then you know discard the alt mile you drew and add it to your hand. So that's one less non-trigger out of your deck. 
The 13k beater still helps because you're always going to have cards face down anyways. And, you know, riding this and getting those alt miles helps because you want to be on Aerial Divine at alt mile the whole game. Otherwise, you don't have that crit pressure and then you're just not really winning as fast as you'd like to. So next up for grade ones, since we're running three Akane, I decided I'm going to be running four copies of Pongol. Pongol is just really good because uh, you gain soul and you a lot of cards in this deck use soul repeatedly like alt mile and swimming so if you want to be using like an average of two soul blasts a turn you want to be able to take advantage of pongo's ability to give you that soul back so the skill is when placed if there's another unit in the same column you soul charge if you soul charge the trigger this gets 5k um what i typically like to do is at, let's say i use a kane to pull out a pongo i'll then have swimming to swing and then bounce pongo back to my hand so now i not only have a 10k shield but if next turn, if I decide, you know, if I still have the Pongo in my hand the next turn, I can call it, gain more soul to pay more costs. So, uh, Pongo definitely really helpful there. And you don't really need a lot of grade ones since the deck is so grade two focused. Your grade twos are boosting most of the time. This is just to keep the grade one consistency and what better grade one than one that gives you resources. So, I picked the four Pongo. Lastly, uh, I'm only running two more grade ones. So this is it for the uh, non-triggers, and it's Felix. So Vanner Rear, when it attacks or boosts, Soul Blast 1, return a unit, or return a rearguard from another column to your hand, this gets 5k. So it's the exact same skill as Swimming, except it's when it attacks or boosts. So you can use, you know, a column if you wanted to, to give the column 10k. Um, but it's basically just if you don't have Swimming on the board and you have Felix, you can do it that way too. Um, only run two copies because, you know, you have Sleeman, and you're going to be recycling grade 2s over and over, so it's fine. Um, this is just a good alternative if you don't have it on the board, and, you know, extra 5k power doesn't hurt anyone, so. And it's a Soul Blast, so you don't have to worry about using Counter Blasts and stuff like that. Alright, so on to triggers. Uh, I'm just going to start with the Sentinels. So I decided I'm just going to be running the 3 Soul and 1 Bellinus. Why? <laughs> because I want to, and I want to try out these crits for fun, but the PGs are definitely, like, you can't go wrong with these. So, if I were going to play in a tournament and make the deck a little more serious, I think I would just trade this out for one more draw PG, but I'm not playing in tournaments, and I am playing for fun, so I want to try out these crits. Uh, being able to guard for 30 shield with one card feels nice, so just, just drop it to 30k shield. Why not? And, you know, three PGs are still fine. So the way I was thinking of it is uh, back in, like, what, 2016 or, like, 2015 when Quintet Walls first came out. I forgot what year it was. But the ratio that I did when Quintet Walls first, like, first came out, uh, I would do three PGs and one Quintet Wall just to try them out. And it worked out fine, you know? So the one card in your hand to guard in a, a really big attack and then the three PGs, I figured I'd stick with the same ratio. And it's an extra crit, so and since the whole point of the deck is to beat your opponent with crits, uh, more crits means you win faster. Crits win games, ladies and gentlemen, never forget. Speaking of which, the rest of the deck is just eight more crits. So we got four Epina and four Flogel. So, more crits. Um, I mean, you could trade it for a draw, but the deck really doesn't need to draw that much since you toolbox your deck so much. Just find whatever you're looking for. You might as well just use the crits. Go for game. And lastly, just your four heals. So you got the healing Pegasus from the trial deck. So fitting the alt mile deck theme. Keeping that going. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Um, I guess I'll just show like a basic idea of what I would do if it were like the beginning of the game. So let's say it's after the turn you rode to grade one. Typically your ride targets that you're going to be looking for are going to be as follows, which is nice because we have a lot of choices. So typically these are your four choices. You either got Swayman, Levarlo, Blaster Blade, or Akane, which is kind of like what I would want to be riding. Preferably in this order of which has priority. So I want Swayman so I can do that on place potentially get alt mile in my hand so that way I have more alt miles to work with. If I don't really need the extra swimming, uh, then my next target will pretty much be um, probably actually Akane. 
because I just want to get Pongo on the board ASAP so that I can, you know, bounce it back to my hand, keep re repeating Pongo over and over every turn just to get more soul. So Kane would be the second ride because um, it's pretty decent. Livarlo is because um, it's more likely I'm going to be riding this than Blaster Blade, so I, I say this is the third most consistent thing. So riding Livarlo from hand gets me any grade two I'm looking for. So pretty much I'm going to be looking for cards like Starlight Violinist or Suleiman. Um Maybe um, Hope Song Angel just so I can use it maybe the next turn. It depends on the matchup. So Lavarlo's there as a good ride target, which is nice. And then Blaster Blade. Uh, Blaster Blade is if I have it in my hand, the turn I ride to grade 2, I want to try and ride it just because it has that skill with the Vanguard Circle where it has the extra crit if I have four rear guards. So what I'll typically do is, let's say other cards I'll have in my hand will be like Akane and Swing and, you know, Livero. So Akane gets you Pongol, and then Livero gets you Starlight Violinist, and now you got your four rear guards, and then, you know, you got a 20k Vanguard with an extra crit on it, the turn you rode to grade 2. So that can help you push, and Blaster Blade really doesn't really serve any other purpose later in the game. So after you ride on top of it, you can just Soul Blast it back out. It becomes a target later in the game for calling from the drop zone if you want to retire stuff. Other than that, that's pretty much what you're going to be doing. Um, yeah, so point of the deck is make sure your damage is face down almost all the time, call out a bunch of grade twos, and beat your opponent to death with extra criticals. So hope you guys enjoy the deck. Uh, any comments, questions, or concerns, just leave them below, and I'll try and get back to them as soon as I possibly can. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Richard, and I'll see you all in some more future videos, hopefully.